Okay, so this is the new Curadont treatment for incipient caries lesions, non-cavitated lesions, um, that I've been posting about and getting a lot of questions about. And one question in particular was whether you could apply it proximally to incipient proximal lesions. And the answer is yes, but it's very different from silver diamine fluoride or SDF because it's not just about getting the liquid on the teeth, you know, because with SDF you could put it on super floss or apply it with a micro brush. With this, the magic secret sauce, so to speak, the peptide um, that is going to help remineralize the tooth is actually in the sponge applicator. So that has to contact the surface that you're treating. So when you get it out of the package and you remove this little protective barrier, and then you push the little sponge down into the liquid in there. So it's gonna get the sponge moistened. The sponge it has the stuff in it that has to contact the surface that you're, you're treating. So you can't just put it on, you can't put a micro brush in here and just brush it on the tooth, that's not gonna work. Or put it on super floss, that's not gonna work. The, the sponge actually has to contact the surface. So one way you could do it, of course you could put separators and have them come back so you could directly apply it proximally, but of course having to do extra appointments, it's time consuming, it's hard for the patients. Um, but another way you could do it is just put the sponge between the teeth. If there's space, you could try to floss it between there, but typically of course there's not, or there's a contact, which is why they're getting incipient caries, but just lay it up there. And um, you know, usually normal floss is so skinny, whoops, that, um, and of course you probably have an assistant helping you do this, but normal floss is so skinny that it won't necessarily help push it in there. So I have found that using the super floss that's thicker and puffier is more effective. Line it up in there. And then there's your puffy floss. And just push it down into the contact there. That's working. But yeah, the sponge has to to touch the surface that you're treating. Perfect, voila. Of course, on a human, it'd be different. You'd have someone helping you, uh, but see how it's in there? And you need to leave it in there for five minutes. And then after five minutes, you can remove it. You can cover the treated site with a fluoride varnish and then check them again in three to six months. Mm -hmm.